Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make an interesting abstract shader. It's fairly simple. Just get through a couple nodes. So uh, I'm going to use uh, the regular sun, and I'm just going to import an icosphere. But you can use any object you want. It doesn't matter. We're just going to go into the shader nodes. So I'm just going to subdivide this and smooth it out. So that's what it looks like right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide over this window. I'm going to collapse this, zoom that in, collapse this, and then we're going to go right down here into the node editor and collapse this right here. Just trying to get as much space as we can. So down here, we're going to click new and we're going to delete the diffuse and I'm going to add the principled shader. This is an easy one to get sort of a metallic look. So right here on metallic, I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to keep the roughness right about there. That looks good enough. And let's see how that looks. All right, good. So we're going to stay in edit mode. And first thing we're going to do is add the lines. So, and that's going to be in the displacement section of the material output. So first thing we need to do and go to your textures and get the Veroni texture. Club, plug that into the displacement. And right here, it'll say intensity, um, switch to cells. And so now you got that look. Now we're going to get the moose grave texture, and that's right here. And we're going to plug the color into the vector. And now we got these really interesting lines. It looks really cool. So I'm going to bring down the scale on the Veroni real quick. That looks good enough. All right, now make sure not to change anything here. We're going to we're going to copy these, and we're just going to bring them over here. We're going to plug these into the color of the principle. So. Connect the color to the vector and connect the color to the color of the principle. Now you got this. Now this looks kind of cool on its own, but you don't have any control over those colors. So the way you get control over that is you add a color ramp. And there you go. Now you got the gray. And so now these two are going to control the color. So I'm going to change the, the black to uh, a red. And so now you got this. And we're going to change this to a slight blue. I don't really like that. but And so now you have these. I'll teach you a really quick trick. If you want to add a third color, let's make this yellow. So now you got this. But if you don't want it to sort of ease in or gradient like this, right here on linear, you click constant. And now you get these sharp edges. And... So now it's all hard edges, nothing gradients, and you can go in and add any colors you want. And yeah, that's basically the texture. So yeah, that's basically it. That's your abstract shader. You can go in and change whatever colors you want. You can have a lot of fun with this. And you can also go in and you can um, mix other textures with it. You got the checker, you got the bricks, you got uh, magic, all that kind of stuff. You can go in and actually... You don't have to do this specific design. You can swap these. You can do any of that. You can have a lot of fun and be creative with that. And yeah, that's basically it. So um, thanks for watching.